Hey guys, welcome back on in Dragon Folk. Uh, so, as you can see, we have a wonderful shadow of our phone because we're can't, we're recording. But uh, I went to Target today on a whim. Uh, you can say that I don't follow this game a whole lot, um, but I do play it every now and again. Uh, but I didn't pay attention to it at all uh, for this next set that was coming out. And uh, as you can tell by the title, we uh, we found some. I uh, I was out of Target and I saw them on the shelves in the blister packs and I went, oh, oh, I didn't even know this released yet. <laughs> so we have a Yugi quad for you today. I know we don't uh, we don't do Yugi quads or we haven't done a Yugi quad yet. So this is our very first Yugi quad episode. So very hyped for that. Very hyped indeed. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start cracking these things. Uh, and we're going to see what we get. So, four packs. You guys know how it is. Um, the packs are, like, oddly buoyant. Like, it feels like there's not a lot of cards in here. I mean, there's what? There's seven cards, it says? What does that say in there? Seven cards? So, it doesn't feel like seven cards, though. It feels like there's nothing in these packs. So... Uh, obviously, we're looking for a lot of the collector's rares that are going up here, but, uh, oh, it looks like it's another one of these, one of these sets, one of these, uh, every card is a rare set. So, a lot of the collector's rares we're looking for, um, really all of them, any collector's rares we can get. Otherwise, the, uh, Dosulfacord, uh, Kulia, and Agdo, Agduaba, and Agduabis. Yeah, the Ogdoatic. Those guys I actually kind of wanted to see about making. They seem like they'd be very fun. But um, we're going to see what we get first. So we got a Trilemia, a Sulfacord Skull, a Damage Reptile. That's probably for that. A Wavering Eyes, an Ersatic Megapolar. A offering to the snake deity and an Ursar Usarctic departure. Usarctic. I wonder what kind of that meta that is. Well, who knows? Who knows what that is? But what do they do? Let's read it. Let's let's learn about stuff, right? Discard one card and an Usartic monster from your deck to your hand. It would if you would tribute a monster to activate Usartic monster's effects, except this turn, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Instead, you can only use each effect of the Usartic departure once per turn. Huh. Interesting stuff. Um, I know that's a new set that came out. I guess it's supposed to be like snow, like like ice things. As hence the the Arctic. I don't know what the Earth's... I think mean, it's supposed to be like bears or something. But who knows? I don't. So <laughs> there's the uh, Magister Paladin, the Ascending Dragon Slayer. What a wild looking card that is. What And what a name, right? Like, <laughs> so cool. Okay. Let's, let's go ahead and center these things a little bit here. Got an Ignister Promise, the Blasting Dragon Slayer. Trade in. This got a reprint in rare. That's kind of neat. Uh, I remember I used to play this in the eight star dragon decks uh, back in the day. An Ogdotic Hollow. This is a Dinoster Power, the Mighty Dragon Slayer. This is a loose, a Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. A lot of Draco Slayer stuff. And a Curse the Ogda the Ogdoatic Light. Curse. These are like snake beings or something. I thought it was like really cool. So, all right. Not bad so far. I mean, supers, right? All you can really hope for. I mean, you at least get a super guaranteed in every pack. Uh, you know, if it's a higher rarity, then good. If it's, you know, at least you're getting a super, but... Right now, looks like we're just getting a lot of the staple stuff here. Another one of these guys, the Nostardic Megabills. King of the Feral Imps. Seems kind of dope. Uh, we've got another Dinoster Power. A Snake Rain. Discard one card, send a four... Send, 
Send four reptile monsters from your deck to the graveyard? Oh. Okay. That's probably good. I wonder if that o Ogatic... I'm going to mess that up a thousand times. The Ogduatic stuff uh, deals with the graveyard. And a Nusarctic Mikbilis. Yeah, they're bears. Ursa Arctic. Yeah, Ursa Arctic. So they're bears. Bear ice type stuff. Or beasts, I guess. And uh, snakes. Bears and snakes seem to be the big thing. Oh, and then I guess the Dosulfa cord stuff. That seems pretty neat. So, as the new Sartic and Meganatus, Ignite Reload, the Nomian, the King of Poisonous Snakes. Oh, there's a Queen one too, isn't there? Another Hollow, Viper's Rebirth. Oh, this is a card they got to reprint too. Um, Sulfa Card Musica. And Solvacord Elegance. Interesting. So, Solvacords, Bears, and Og Ogdatics, or, o yeah, Ogduatics are the three, like, archetypes from this thing. And I guess there's a lot of reprints and stuff like that, too, so, very interesting. It looks like we didn't get anything other than Supers, though, so, you hate to see it, but... Not the end of the world. Our Senec Departure. So, we got a lot of stuff for these three. Uh, you know, hopefully these are going for a bit, right? Maybe we can maybe we can just check. We have some time, right? This is only a six-minute video. We can go over that and see. Let's see. Let's look up... Let's just look up Super Rares. Let's see. First and foremost, we have the Sulfatic... Uh, the Sulfacord Elegance, which goes for about 20 cents. We have the Ersatic Departure, 19 cents. A Curus goes for 23 cents. And the Ersatic McBillis, which goes for 18 cents. So I would say that out of the $20 practice, well, what? They were $4 back. And yeah, like $17 I spent. I definitely did make my money back, but now we have new set stuff. So at some point, we're going to see with new cards uh, what tops and what doesn't. Obviously, uh, you know, we have to see what the tournaments are like because some genius is going to find out how to use these cards and they're going to go from 18 cents to like a dollar. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this Yugi Quad episode. Um, yeah, fun stuff to see, see all this. I'm going to see about trying to make an Ogduatic deck. Uh, the, the archetype seemed fun. Um, and it's snakes. And I mean, I like snakes, so why not? Right. I guess I also like bears. So the Ursatic stuff is, or Ursartic stuff is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, just like everything else, we kind of have to see what it's going to look like in the meta. Uh, if it's going to beat out Dragon Link stuff. Um, but we'll see, right? I have to do a lot more dueling, uh, to figure out what the meta looks like. And then once I figured out what the meta's like, I'll be, uh, I'll be more confident in making a deck. But, uh, until then, we're just collecting, having a fun time, and hopefully you guys are having a fun time too. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed this Yugi Quad opening. And, uh, we'll catch you guys during the next one where maybe... I'll just open a box of this because it seems like it'd be fun. All right, guys. Nerd out.